Hello and welcome guys. Today we will understand about the key elements of payment and settlement system. So what it means is it will give you a brief idea what are the key elements that are needs to be available in order to make a payment. So without wasting of time, let's get started. So today's topic is key elements of payment and settlement. here in the key elements is the message and then followed by the clearing last but not the least is settlement so these are the key elements of a payment and settlement system that needs to be there in order to make a complete end-to-end -end payment or a transaction so first one message now when we hear this term message, what does exactly it means? It is just a general way of making payments uh, that starts with the message saying that payment of some amount has to be made. So it is to define this, it is just a simple general way of communicating that says payment of some amount has to be made isn't it any kind of communication that will say about the payment of some amount to be made to some particular person so that is simple uh, way of message so what are the, we can take a very popular or simple example the first one if I have to take uh, I would take a very popular and the traditional way that is when you write a check write a check right to your bank so what it means is it means you are telling your bank to pay this person whose name is written on the check and the account provided means pay Person whose name and count is mentioned on the check, isn't it? So, if you remember, for the check look look looks like I can just portray one check leaflet. So here what is the State Bank of India right here you will have pay and you'll be given the space and then you will have this amount in 
rewards. Let's say you want to pay this to Mr. Sam. Sam Smith. Launching mod. Let's say 50,000 rupees. Amount in what? Sorry, not a figure. Small box in the tier, uh, you'll be mentioning your 50,000 rupees. And your signature, where okay, you will be doing your signature here, and some and your savings account detail will be here. So, this is a general checkbook leaflet which has the information. Uh, is a way of sending a message to the bank saying that hey bank I am instructing you to pay this person Sam Smith rupees 50,000 from my account this which is there in your bank it's that simple <laughs> right so this is a simple way to understand a message right so other other example which I can um, use is uh, using the net banking and mobile banking Net banking or mobile banking So how does this new net banking and mobile banking look like let's say this is your Net banking which you use via screen or via mobile right so you have this information to be here soon for example, uh, account number will be there. Account holder name. IFSC. Details. So this information you can fill in using your net banking after you log into your uh, bank's net banking system or your uh, mobile app, mobile banking app. Same way, similar information will be here, right? So you have to fill it and just click on submit. It will just go and process it right so when you fill this information and just press the submit button what it means is that it is using an electronic message indirectly instructing our bank to make the transition isn't it after you fill in click and submit what happens it will hit to your bank server let's say you are holding account in SBI and Bombay it will hit your account server. It will get receive this message when you initiate it from your net banking or your mobile banking application, and then the SBI uh, and Bombay will do their validation uh, in terms of your account balance and, and so on. There are so many things which I have already inform have uh, informed in my earlier videos, but this is how it is, right? So this is also a kind of a message. We generally say it as payment initiation one payment dot zero zero one, right? So in ISO format, it generates a kind of a payment initiation message. It will head to the bank server, and bank co banking system will do the necessary action then after that, right? So that is a simple part. Okay. So this is the uh, second example. So similarly, if you want to the cross border payment. We just use a swift payment, right? Cross border, let's say uh, from India, let's say cross border. This is cross border.
let's say if uh, you want to send it from India to Australia right sorry for this map thing but let's say from India to uh, Australia you can use a Swift network and Swift network will have some sort of messages let's say empty messages so for, so for cross border also you can use this messages and they have the explicit type of uh, so empty format messages as well as ISO format messages as well which is being introduced right now and the target date is by 2025 it has to be implemented anyways that is a separate topic and this is all about the messages and let's let's go for the second part that is a clearly very important part again once you initiate the message what is the next step what will happen right so those things will come on to the clearing now let us understand first of all what is clearing clearing once the message is ready and created it has to be taken for the next step that is clearing and clearing is used when we want to make payment from one bank to another bank right Clearing is not used when the payment is made with the same bank, right? So, can used when we want to make payment from one bank to another bank isn't it right we need a clearing for sure right in, in India we have the uh, RBI associated clearings for artists for example RBI is governing that right and same way Federal Reserve in USA for their local RTGs, ACH payments. That is how we, we need the clearing and clearing is generally managed by whom? Uh, central, uh, central banks. Right? So when I say uh, it is only used when the fund movement is there from one bank to another bank. Right? But for the same bank, let's say for um, let's see, uh, SPIN bank, here one person named Ram has account, another person is also holding account. Let's say seven. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Account is nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's say one more person is here who is also holding account. Let's say Sita, whose account is two, three, two, one, two. Right? All these three person is holding on account in this SBI and bomb. Now, if Ram wants to transfer a fund to, let's say, Shita, he doesn't need the clearing, isn't it? It has the account in SBI and bomb. What it will do is it will uh, debit to Ram's account that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it will credit to. It's another account which is 23212 whose account is of uh, Sita and the fund will be still internally. It is called as crediting the account, book, book to credit basically. And that is how. And, and we do not need any clearing because we are not sending it to any other bank. Right? This is all about the clearing. And to understand more about the clearing, right, we have a separate video which I have already made. You can go and watch this video. And the, the last and not least, very important aspect again, and then is settlement. Settlement is very important. Now, what settlement? You need to understand. The 
final one which says settlement so settlement it is uh, when beneficiary it is when beneficiary gets credited so finally when the beneficiary gets credited at that time we say it as the settlement has happened the actual definition of settlement is again I have already mentioned in the earlier videos that is it is an act it is an act of discharging obligations right and it can be uh, in terms of funds or securities you know securities markets will deal with the securities or in terms of funds or securities it involves the movement of funds again right involves movement of funds consists of paying debts yeah obviously consists of paying debts right remember we had this video where we had uh, one bank a b c right a has a positive uh, 70 million and b has negative 70 million and the payments has been done between a and b right and here clearing and clearing and settlement mechanism is here which is done by the central bank and then finally once uh, every hourly or two hourly basis or at all timely basis once the sorting is done the bank a will receive 30 million from the clearing and settlement mechanism and bank b which is minus 70 million will have to send 70 million to the clearing settlement mechanism in order to make the obligation of bank a so for this we have a separate video you can watch it out but this is all about the key elements of a payment and settlement system so without these three things misses clearing and settlement a payment cannot be completed this is the entire important aspect of the payment and clearing settlement system thank you all for watching this videos we'll get back with the new interesting topics into the payment system so keep learning payments and thank you for watching video